Good morning, folks. I, uh, so I haven't been out fishing in uh, over a month. Got to go a couple of times. Uh, right, first couple of weeks of January. It's now the very end of February. And I wouldn't be fishing today except for the catfish conference up in Kentucky was canceled. So I just kept those uh, days off scheduled and decided to come fishing. Since I couldn't go to a catfish conference, I figured I'd just go ahead and go cat fishing. Uh, but we at Lake Murray, and the water's muddy. It's been raining here for about the last hundred years, uh, so I don't know how the bite's going to be. Water's right at 50 degrees, and uh, I'm right now in about 33 foot of water. But uh, I got seven rods out. I got uh, five dragging uh, and two suspended. We're going to see if we can pull something in. Looks like we got us something on. Oh yeah, that's a fish. I got that on the planer board. I was beginning to wonder if it was gonna, anything at all was gonna bite today. I've been drifting for about an hour and a half. There's no wind to speak of. And for some reason, my trolling motor don't wanna work today. So, just been kinda Drifting on along, but looks like we got us a little blue. That's good. That gets the skunk off the boat for this year. Like I said, I've been twice already. Uh, the first two weeks of January and hadn't put anything in the boat. And, And that hook did not even go all the way through his mouth, so I don't know if I'll get him in the boat or not. Oh yeah, he's caught. I don't know, probably seven, eight pounds maybe? Alrighty, get this hook out of his mouth, which was, wow, he was just barely hooked. And that, came off a piece of cut perch so so far right now first fish of the year got him on the planter board on perch all right buddy you get on back in that water all right that uh that fish right there caught was uh first fish i caught off of this new rod and reel that i have this is the Mad Cats limited edition Patriot rod. So you can see the awesome uh, colors on this rod. Uh, seven foot, six inch, medium heavy. It's got 10 uh, stainless steel eyes and the tip. I top that off with a uh, Cast King Rover. The, R, the 60R and this combination seemed to work really well with that fish of course he wasn't a big one but uh, I'll take uh, a little fish over no fish any day of the week alright well uh, I've been on the same drift for about two and a half hours and I've gotten one fish one little almost to take down but uh, nothing hooked up uh, so I'm going to reel it up now and head on to a different location. I'll maybe try to find some deeper water. But uh, y'all stick around. I'm not exactly sure what that is on my fish finder, but uh, that wasn't there just a couple of minutes ago. So I'm hoping I'll get a bite on something, if nothing else, the, uh, the bait rod. Well, here's something you definitely don't see every day. Looks like a backhoe on a barge.
Huh. All right. Well, I'm going to call it a day. Headed up, uh, loaded up, headed back home. So, ended up the day with just uh, one fish and a lot, a lot of time on the water and just couldn't uh, get on them. Heading back into the boat ramp, I checked out a few uh, a few areas uh, going real slow and using my depth finder and marked a lot of fish. So maybe that'll give me a starting point next time to, uh, to start. But anyways, until next time, y'all stay safe, keep fishing. How's it going everybody? Just uh, <clears throat> got back out on the water. This is probably the last day this weekend I'll be able to fish. Uh, it's going to be a hot one. It's supposed to get up to 80 something degrees. Water temperature is uh, about 54 degrees. Uh, a couple days ago, drug baits all over this lake for all day and ended up with just one, one fish. So moved to a different area of the lake. Uh, I'm going to try some different things and uh, see if that pays off the the bait i've got today i'm kind of limited i've got some chicken and the only other piece of bait i have is some uh, uh <clears throat> perch and it's froze solid so i'm waiting for it to thaw out but like i say it's supposed to get up to 80 degrees today so it shouldn't take long to thaw out but anyways y'all stand by well folks i'm starting my third drag of the day and uh, so far it's been a big goose egg. Haven't gotten a first bite. I've, I've fished shallow, I've fished deep. Uh, not as deep as I did Thursday. But uh, I don't know, I just can't figure it out today. But I'm gonna keep trying. Y'all stay tuned. All right, I got something playing with this rod right here. I'm hoping he's on there. Oh yeah, finally hooked up. Been fishing for four hours. First bite I've had. And my frozen perch finally thawed out enough to cut it. I cut it up. I've got it on three rods. But this one, I believe, is the strawberry chicken. Finally, it has been a long day. Come on, settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Come here. Open up. Open up, damn it. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right. Ah, it's a nice size channel cat right there. I think I'm gonna put the scales on him just because I'm curious. And like I said, was caught on strawberry jello chicken. I had to get the pliers to get that out. We'll be right back. Six pounds, three ounces. Not bad for a channel cat. All right. Well, buddy, I'm going to turn you loose. That was fun. Thank you. All right, go on back with you. There you go. All right, just an interesting tidbit I was uh, just happened to be on YouTube watching Dieter Melhorn live feed uh, when I got that first bite so uh, uh, kudos to him maybe he's good luck I don't know maybe it was just time for me to get a bite I've been out here all stinking day and that's the first fish I've put in the boat but uh, I'm gonna keep watching his live feed just in case y'all hang around I don't know what just hit this bait rod 
but it started peeling drag. It is big. I don't know what it is. This is just 12 pound test on here. And it is pulling drag. So we're gonna see what we got. I had it on just a little old, uh, old crappy rig, crappie, crappy, however you wanna say it. Uh, little two hook rig. And uh, it took off screaming. I don't know what it is, but this ought to be fun. This is a little uh, reel my wife bought uh, bought me for Christmas. And he's not wanting to cooperate at all. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good one. Whatever it is, this, this is fun. <laughs> he looks like he's tangled up all in my planer board. If I can get him loose. There we go. Get him under. I've had them minutes underneath the boat for about the last three hours. So now I'm not only fighting this fish, I am also dragging in my bait on this planter board. Oh yeah, that's, it's fun. <laughs> I don't know. That's a striper, that's a nice striper. And he's got a mess going on, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to uh, research and see what what the limit is on these stripers, cause I'm probably just gonna keep this one if he's of keeping size. Oh yeah, oh that was fun, that was fun. Ah, oh, mercy. Oh, he was in about 12 foot of water and just barely hooked. And he has a mess going on here. I'm gonna weigh this dude. Seven pounds, six ounces. So I'm gonna throw him in a live well until I can see if I, I can actually keep this dude. All right, that was fun. Well, I uh, looked it up and that striper, the, the legal limit on Lake Murray is, for this time of year, is 21 inches. And that one was 24, but I don't wanna keep it. I've been out here all day. Really don't feel like cleaning a fish. And honestly, I haven't never heard that stripers tasted all that great. So, anyways, maybe I'll try it one of these days. Uh, but right now, he tangled up several of my lines. I had to break one off because I got uh, snagged up. And it's getting just about close to dark. So, I'm going to call it a day. I'm reeling up and I'm taking it to the house. So, uh, I will talk to you all later. All right, folks, well, that does it for me for today, uh, for this weekend, actually, and the month of February. Uh, not real good luck. Uh, Thursday, I caught one fish, fished all day. Today, I caught the one catfish and one striper and fished for five hours. So, I guess over and all in all, you can say the bite was slow. Uh, but, you know, it, uh, 
There's worse things can be doing than wasting time fishing. Uh, but I was watching uh, watching stuff on the internet the other day and big debate about uh, you know what's considered real bait and what's not real bait. You know, my opinion is if it catches fish, it's bait. Uh, some people saying using chicken or jello flavored anything is not real bait well, I don't care if it's an old leather shoe if a fish will bite it use it uh, that's just my opinion uh, others have opinions that differ and that's fine they can use what they want to but uh, as far as I'm concerned if uh, a fish will bite it it can be used as bait but uh, that's going to do it for this video y'all take care and uh, keep fishing. Stay safe.